Welcome back. Time for music and technology beep box chip tunes. First, what is music? That's a tricky question. What what is it really? Well, uh, I would say that music is art in the form of sound, and it can be almost any kind of sound really. Uh, you could argue that even some animals make music, like birds sing songs to each other. Uh, <coughs> sounds are created by really any means that can be used for music. You can create sounds with your voice, instruments, and uh, this produces beauty, harmony, or it can even express emotion. So music can do lots of things. But what is sound exactly? These are some deep questions. What is music? What is sound? Sound is just tiny movements of air, tiny vibrations in the air. The air moves in tiny waves that reach our ears, and then we hear sound. Sound is a vibration that hits your ear, and you hear. So it's a vibration that travels through the air. You can't hear sound if there's no air. Uh, it can also travel through something else like like water uh, and it can be heard as it reaches your ear. So here comes the sound vibration and maybe it's music, maybe it's a loud noise and the molecules are vibrating around and basically the sound goes into your ear, the vibrating molecules bounce around and they bounce around and they hit your, your eardrum and then your eardrum moves these two little uh, bones in your ear and they move back and forth and then they move this uh, basically this kind of almost like a shell bone and it's full of fluid and that transfers the the sound to to your brain and you can hear it take a look at this this is our cardboard simulated ear of science now take a look in here is a microphone and the microphone receives sounds and the microphone is connected to this it's our oscilloscope of science. Now, an oscilloscope is something that lets us scope, that lets us see waves. An oscilloscope. Okay, now watch. When I make vibrations in the air, when I make sounds in the air, they show up as vibrations, as waves on the oscilloscope. Watch. See the waves? Isn't that cool? Now, in a sense, there's no difference between the sound waves made that go into this microphone and the waves that show up on the oscilloscope. Now look at the ear. You see how it's cup-shaped? That way it focuses the sound. Now our ear is the same way. It's a specialized structure designed to receive sound so that we can hear them. Isn't that cool? I mean, uh, There's no air in space, so that means there's no sound in space. So Star Wars would have sounded a lot differently if it was realistic. It would have sounded more like this. There would be no, no explosions, no laser noises, no anything in space because there's no air in space, so you can't have any sound in space. And then, therefore, no one can hear you scream in space either. Music is art. And I say there's no wrong way to make art. So if you're going to make music and you're doing it for fun, there's absolutely no wrong way to do it. Uh, but what is, what is chiptunes music? I've got a lot of questions in this, this lesson, I know. Chiptunes is basically, can also be called 8-bit music, is synthesized electronic music. Uh, based on the music of old, old video games, like original Mario and such. For example, maybe you're hearing some Mario uh, chiptunes right now. And some of the first video game consoles, they had very limited processing and computing power. They, their processors were very slow, so they could only play this very kind of simplistic sounding music and it's kind of stuck around and people still kind of like to listen to it sometimes and, and it's a lot easier to make too. 
uh, than other kinds of music sometimes. So these old video games and video game systems, they used this chiptunes music as the soundtrack for their video games. Uh, but they were too, the, the, the video game consoles were too basic to be able to have lyrics. So chiptunes almost never has words, it just sounds. Uh, but even if you don't have any words in music, you can still really evoke emotion. And I think music is emotion. You can feel, you can feel all sorts of things when you listen to a certain song. Uh, for example, it can make you feel happy, it can make you feel sad, it can make you feel angry, it can make you feel fearful, or mysterious, or excited, or courageous. All of these things can be evoked with music. It's very powerful and cool. Um, and so it's extra cool if you can make music of your own. So that's what we're going to do today is use Beepbox. We're going to use Beepbox to make some chiptunes. So pick a mood. Do you want to make a sad song? Do you want to make a happy song? Do you want to make a scary song? And then you can try to make your song try to feel that way. Here we go. To get to Beepbox, you can easily get to it from my website. If you, for example, go to Fun Stuff and you click Beepbox right there. Or you can click on uh, the link in either Seesaw or wherever I post it on Google Classroom or wherever. Uh, anyways, once you get to Beepbox, here it is. And this is what it looks like. It looks a little complicated at first, but it's really not too bad. Okay, so there's four different instruments you can have. Uh, I like to think of, think of them as instruments. You can call them tracks too, um, but the kind of light blue or turquoise track is your melody, and then you have the yellow and orange tracks. You could call those the harmony, um, and finally the gray set of numbers here, ones and zeros, is the percussion, okay? So like drums. Anyways, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So to make some sounds, you click. And when you click, you should be able to hear uh, the sound that it makes. Now, uh, you can change your instrument. I don't really like this instrument. But let's listen to what it sounds like already. It's kind of OK, but I want I want to have a chiptune sound. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my instrument type right here okay so type is right here so you want to scroll up until you you find square wave okay square wave you can also use chip wave if you want you can really use any instrument you want but i like to to do this with uh, some chip tune sounds because i like chip tunes so you click square wave or something else and you've got some chip tunes sounding melodies okay now to make a note, you can click and drag it out to make it longer, okay? Uh, and within each number pattern, you have, let's take a look at it and see how many notes we have, okay? To get rid of the notes, you can click on them too. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notes. That's kind of a pattern, that's another pattern in music. Uh, with a lot of music, it's combined into, well, we call it 4-4 four, four timing. But that just means there's uh, lots of groups of four, okay? You can think of that as you're trying to make your song. Groups of four. And you can actually change your rhythm here, too. We Right now, we're on four, which is the standard, okay? You can have it on groups of three, those triplets. I really like four, though, so I'm going to keep it on four, the standard. So I'm going to think of, uh, do I want to have a happy song or a sad song? Hmm. To a, if I want happy, I can leave my setting here on easy, happy face. Okay, that means it's in the major key. If I want a sad sounding song, I can go easy, sad face. Okay. Ooh. If I, and that's in the minor key. Okay, major is happy, minor is sad. And I, I kind of like it. I kind of like a sad sound sometimes. So I'm going to make a sad song. And you can drag out your notes. You can also bend your notes by clicking and pulling them downwards. Once you make a note, you click from the middle and pull. And you can make it bend down to a different note. Okay. 
And I'm going to make a, just a simple little melody here. And if you don't like uh, what you hear, it's always good to press play, listen to what you made, and change it along the way, okay? That's okay. I think I like that. Now, I'm not even close to being done. That was only one pattern of the first instrument. To get to the next pattern here, okay, so our song is now one, two, three, four, uh, basically measures long, okay? Uh, or four segments long, we could say. You can increase it by dragging this uh, purple loop bar further or shorter. So I can change it to another pattern by clicking the tiny little up and down arrows next to the number of the pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna click this to two, and then I'm gonna maybe repeat one, and then I'll repeat two again. Music is a bunch of patterns. It's kind of like a, a bunch, it's kind of mathematical in that way sometimes. So I'm gonna make my number two pattern, and wherever you see the number, it'll be the same pattern, okay? When you hear the number go past through the song, you'll hear the same kind of sound. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna continue and make some more patterns here for my melody, but uh, make sure if you're gonna make a song, you have not just one instrument, you can just have one melody, but it's much more interesting if you have multiple tracks, okay? So for example, I'm gonna put in some harmony. Usually the harmony is kind of simple and also has a pattern. Maybe not quite as much of a pattern as drums. There's a pattern. Now it's putting me on a different instrument already, the warm pad. Maybe I'll leave it there for now. And this one's on violin. It's easy to get too many notes when you're making a song. So it's good to kind of have simpler notes sometimes. It's up to you. It's really an artist's choice. And it's very difficult to make very good sounding music sometimes. So it just takes a lot of practice and playing around with things. But what's really important is to have a solid beat. So some drums, okay? For drums, it's really usually a great idea to have a, a steady pattern. So like one, two, three, four, right? I'm gonna skip ahead a little ways and I'm gonna make a lot more patterns for each one of my instruments now, okay? And we'll see what we can get uh, when we come to a finish. All right, so here's my finished song. I've got all sorts of patterns. Uh, let's give it a listen, shall we? That was that. So as you can see, it's pretty long, almost a little too long. And I've got so many different kind of patterns, but there's all sorts of cool settings over here that you can really change around, okay? There's this setting here, tempo. This can increase the speed that your song plays at. So let's listen to the song with an increased tempo real quick. Kind of a little more exciting can also slow down the song to make it kind of make it a little more relaxing you know so there's all sorts of things you can do to your song to make you feel different ways okay 
Let's get to the important part. How to save your song once you're done. Okay, once you make a song, do, 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 and it's all cool, and you're ready to do it. For saving your song, this is all you need to do uh, to upload it to Seesaw. You just go to File, you go down, 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 down to Copy Song URL, okay? And it's this one. And it copies. Ta-da, that's, that's, that's that part. Now you need to go back to Seesaw, okay? Then you're gonna want to click on uh, Add Response, of course, and it'll take you to here, and you can just post the link because we copied a URL link, okay? So you just click link, link, and then, so to paste something, you click where you want it to go, okay? Because uh, we copied the URL. Now I want to press Control C T R L and hold it down with one finger, and then you press V with your other finger once. Boop, and you should see I've got a long list of numbers and letters here. Okay, and that's my song. Okay, so make sure you don't push, press anything else. Don't press any other letters or numbers. Once you press Control V. Uh, that's all and then you just click on the check mark and it should upload your song straight away to Seesaw okay then you're all done now there's another way to uh, upload this too you can just have your song playing and you can go back to Seesaw and you can click add response and you can have it playing through the speakers on the Chromebook. And then you can just click uh, drawing and click record. Okay? And the computer will record whatever's happening through the speakers through its microphone. Kind of, it'll record itself. And you can even draw a picture that you think goes along with your song as you're doing this. Now, I don't know what I'm drawing, but. I just think it might go with the song a little bit. Anyways, after your song finishes, you just push done recording. And then you submit. Okay, might take a little while to upload it if uh, your song was long or you took a long time to do it, but that's okay. And then you're all done. Now, if you're saving to Google uh, Classroom, and you actually want to save an actual file. Uh, you want to do export song, and then you want to name it, and you want to export to WAVE, and then upload. Wait, uh, blah, blah, blah.